Hi, welcome into my channel. In this channel, I want to say that we can go to the stars. The stars are not what you are told at this hour and not that far. So in this way, I'm making my uh, the videos. In this way, I am film myself. I do not put this like perpendicular. So, but I started a list to cover some internet dudes that say wrong signs. And in this video, I will take on Dr. Becky. So by now, you've probably seen the gorgeous array of first science images released by NASA from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. And I think when they were first released yesterday, we were all just a little bit overwhelmed and a little bit lost for words. Soak in all the atmosphere and take it all in. So let's dive into the science. What she is liking to say that it is a he she is a doctor so i want i will tell you my credential also i study philosophy in european union and physics okay so i have a license in philosophy and i have 33 years old so let 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 i want to let you compare what i'm saying with what she is saying I will I I was I started a list and in, in which I, I I take on many guys from the internet to prove that they are speaking old stuff and stupid stuff and poem like and no science. So what is the first part of the poem? Three things. Let's start with this spectacular image of the Carina Nebula. Now, the amount of people that have already told me they have this as their phone or their desktop background already is incredible. So this is a huge star forming region in our own galaxy of stars, the Milky Way, and it's about 7,000 light years away. So all stars are formed in these giant gas clouds that are also really dusty as well. So they have these heavier elements, the heavier molecules, bigger molecules, the likes of carbon and nitrogen and other metals as well that are there because other stars have lived and died in that region of space before so when they've gone supernova and, and thrown off all of their uh, outer layers they've essentially polluted space from being pristine hydrogen gas and adding in all of this carbon and nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars that the stars are formed in gases that the stars are are at the distances seven thousand light, uh, light years in our galaxy and let's cover these two things uh, first first of all light diminishes with distance i will show to you this always because it seems that the physics professor on this world are stupid and crazy light diminishes with distance you see it will make a point this is a proof and it is a demonstration if you want proof that it is not, I mean, like 7,000 light years away from us. So if you want proof to, to, uh, uh, to understand this further, you watch this picture from Kelly, Scott Kelly, uh, International Space Station astronaut, Cosmo astronaut, okay? She filmed the st uh, he filmed the stars and look how they look. So the stars are close. If you want further proof than, than this, let me show to you Moon and Earth filmed from Artemis mission. No, the recent mission that reached the Moon, NASA mission. that re reach the moon. Our moon, it's one second with the speed of light. So light diminishes with distance in space the same, the same. So if you want to understand science, how you will watch Earth and the moon from two seconds? If from one second look, looks like this. How? So, so it is diminishes the square, square root of the distance, light. 
so it will be with a square root of the distance diminishing the light of earth and moon it will it looks smaller than this from 3 seconds 4 seconds 5 seconds 60 seconds in a minute 60 hour 24 hour uh, 24 hour in a day 365 days in a year Five, 7,000 light years, she says. So this is false. These stars are close. And now why they did the, this distance is big? Because they identify the stars with the sun. But before this, let me explain. So you listen, you understand. From where do you understand more science? From me or from these guys, from the internet? Let's start with this spectacular image of the Carina Nebula. Now, the amount of people that have already told me they have this as their phone or their desktop background already is incredible. So this is a huge star forming region in our own galaxy of stars, the Milky Way, and it's about 7,000 light years away. So all stars are formed in these giant gas clouds that are also really dusty as well. So they have these heavier elements, the heavier molecules, bigger molecules, the likes of carbon and nitrogen and other metals as well that are there because other stars have lived and died in that region of space before so when they've gone supernova and, and thrown off all of their uh, outer layers they've essentially polluted space from being pristine hydrogen gas and adding in all of this carbon and nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars they are speaking and are saying the same bad poem you listen to me and listen to her to to her and you will understand from where did you do you run, learn science uh, more or where from where do you make a correct idea of this stuff so star formations star formation stars do not produce anymore they are not producing anymore they say wrongly from the Laplace falsified that the gas gather gravitationally and I, I explain to you gravity always in my video watch my previous uh, videos to understand that gravity is a rotating force field of impact by area so this could not produce stars this is what Laplace falsified Pierre Laplace, Louis Laplace and they stood stupid they say stupid like this and they say gases, but Pierre, poor Pierre Laplace, like these imbeciles in actual day, forget that gases become liquid at the space temperature. Their gases are liquid, liquefying hydrogen and helium becomes, becomes liquid at 200 and minus, 250 degrees minus. So, so if it be, and they, they are, Cretans, they say that the gravity is attraction. I will write another paper. This is uh, like dirty, but force equal mass times acceleration does not attract. It is a heating force, circular force. So how this force, circular force that it is not attraction produced from gases that they are not gases become liquid at the space temperatures produce stars. So I proved to you that the distance is wrong and I proved to you that they are being wrong how the stars are forming. And you look in the picture, I'm looking in the picture, I, I'm not looking always at the camera. This is the way I feel myself. Maybe someday I put this static. So you look at the pictures, I look at the pictures and you will, you will tell me how do you see young stars. and dead stars and what she is saying dead stars young stars and why the why the stars are living they lived and died what is this scientific language the stars lived and died and they had a good life so so you watch the picture at the Carina nebula and i watch the picture and where are the young stars and old stars they have wrinkles and <laughs> what So, <coughs> the stars do not form anymore. <coughs> what is she saying wrong also? Fusion. How about a nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside 
of stars. You listen to this. You all of this earth has schools in these days. Where did you learn fusion between hydrogen and oxygen? She says this. And a nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars. Well, there is no written, there exists not a paper written on earth from some dude, crazy dude, to fuse hydrogen and oxygen, hydrogen in silicon, hydrogen in, in old mandala, in helium even, in iron, in oxygen, in, in, in metals and no metals in copper and there is not a written paper so how we they fused if you do not have a written paper they invented this they invented this they invented this if i tell i am going to tell you if, it, if i was i was a girl i am I'm going to tell you that the fuse hydrogen fuses and you accept this why but a nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars because I, will, I, I am a girl. So she's liking to say that has a PhD. I have school also. I've studied. I studied at the school, okay? I have philosophy. Uh, so why that, that she is more right? The stars are not producing anymore, okay? So this is copper. This is copper. The hydrogen fuses in copper. We do. Why will mine the mines? We'll take hydrogen from the water and we'll make copper. So this is a wrong science. Do you are saying like this? The fusion, fusion, fusion. What fusion? What fusion? Who made the so so paper like you take hydrogen on kilogram of hydrogen? And through what fusing mechanism you obtain iron and oxygen? That is she is saying. But a nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars. So, so why did they invent this? They invented this because they do not know where the Mendeleev is produced. I mean the elements from the Mendeleev. Platinum, copper, iron, okay. Uh, Wolfram or tungsten uh, metals, no metals, uh, noble gases. Uh, okay, I could tell you all of them. So they do not know, and they invented the hydrogen fuses. Hydrogen, it is a small guy, and if you obtain from miracle hydrogen, you obtain the the, the rest of them. So and then you can have. Uh, uh, so they they said that two moments stars produce elements or of the big bang the pro, they are produce elements through fusion this fusion like children's story fusion that does not exist so you understand that like this like her are speak the all over the internet and I'm telling you this wrong science I know that you compare my what I'm saying with what she is saying. Let's start with this spectacular image of the Carina Nebula. Now, the amount of people that have already told me they have this as their phone or their desktop background already is incredible. So this is a huge star forming region in our own galaxy of stars, the Milky Way, and it's about 7,000 light years away. So all stars are formed in these giant gas clouds that are also really dusty as well. So they have these heavier elements, the heavier molecules, bigger molecules, the likes of carbon and nitrogen and other metals as well that are there because other stars have lived and died in that region of space before so when they've gone supernova and, and thrown off all of their uh, outer layers they've essentially polluted space from being pristine hydrogen gas and adding in all of this carbon and nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars and you will understand who is telling you more science so it is it is possible for gases to gather if they do not gather uh, on Earth. There is uh, some electrical uh, ionization and, and, uh, uh, and there is some gatherings, chemical gatherings that we will understood and we understand. Like sugar mixed with water, like this, this is what I mean, chemical bondings. The free atoms combine and combine not through gravity, Nobody explains to you how that clouds 
gathered to form stars. New. New stars. Brand new stars. Days. The, how a light from a brand new star looks? A light, brand new light that exists? This is a, how, how, this is old. You look up the, up the, this, it is old, it is not <laughs> more light left in it. <laughs> so how a brand new star look? The light from a brand new star, it is more beautiful, it is more pretty. So this is the way how they take the doctorates, okay? There is more pretty, these light bulbs that I have, they are old or new. You take the light and you make whatever spectroscopy, you will tell me the light bulbs are, are old or, or, or young. Young, or if you can tell only of the stars that they are 300,000 million trillion light years. <laughs> How? So you take light from that far, you, you'll know. But do you know if these light bulbs are old? And they are young, they live good. So, so in, the, in the old days they falsify Laplace that they are gathering through gravity. Gravity is not attraction. So the only gathering that we can know, they are chemical gatherings, like electromagnetic gatherings. The stars can, could form if or only if they will respect the chemical gatherings of atom gatherings because the gravity is not attraction. And I'm telling you another thing. Gravity means to rotate. If you, if you consider gravity. So if that stars will rotate, they are not rotation, they are not rotational. They will spin. You will, you will, in, in your life, maybe once you drink, coffee or something. If you spin the coffee, it is spinning. So these clouds, if the stars will spin, will spin the clouds and they do not have spin because if they do not have spin, they do not have gravity. about a nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars. Because the gravity is a hitting force of impact. So, so because the, uh, or the uh, cloud, the sim simple cloud does not have gravity. So if the Laplace is false, how they will gather? Through chemical means. Through chemical means. So I'm telling you that they are wrong. The stars are not producing anymore. The problem with that is that dust, these heavier, bigger molecules, tend to block the shorter wavelengths of visible light that we see with our eyes and the likes of the Hubble Space Telescope. But dust doesn't block longer wavelengths of light in the infrared. The infrared light essentially goes around all of these larger dust molecules and also in even longer wavelengths into what we call the mid-infrared, dust actually glows in those wavelengths as well. And these are the wavelengths that the James Webb Space Telescope can detect. So this is an image taken by the near cam detector on JWST. It's that near infrared wavelengths, the sort of slightly longer than visible wavelengths. So we can finally see through the dust for the first time, see those newly forming stars along with structure in the gas which is resolved in such incredible detail. If you compare this to the Hubble Space Telescope images that we had before which are only invisible light it almost looks really flat in comparison almost two-dimensional. And I'm telling you why did they invent this? They fought with the Bible. In the Bible they said that the stars were produced already all of them in one day. And I'm telling you why the, the, the Bible says this. Because our galaxy is a big bowl of water. Hydrogen, oxygen, gases like they say. But only that is like in a fog. Like in the night sky. And in, the, in that, if you, if, you t if you go, if you... Uh, Put aside the fact that the, 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 the rocks could not be produced through gravity, but through atomical boundings that we know normally. The same the stars. And, it, and if we, our galaxy is a bo big bowl of, of, of water, one day with the speed of light, you imagine a big ocean with one day with the speed of light full of ocean, like 
hydrogen oxygen mainly and in it they begin to coagulate the planets and the stars coagulate through chemical processes like crystalline crystalline structure crystallizing they gather together not like laplace they gather together in this cloud the elements being already in the cloud <coughs> <clears throat> and the Bible says that this big cloud of water was split, it was cut in half. In the Bible says that it was a big cloud of water and it was split in two in half. The waters above, hydrogen, oxygen and beneath. And uh, this splitting was named he uh, heaven or the, of, the, or, or of the sky. And when this was split through an energy, a cloud, like you will imagine a cloud of water split, like in the thunder cloud, that came across all the galaxy, that's the sphere, it split the cloud and pushed the water at the border of our galaxy, because our galaxy is a sphere. Surrounded by water, you can see it in the pictures. The planets remain and the satellites coagulated already because you could not have them through gravity. You can falsify but the gravity is a force, a hitting force. You can falsify like them even a few uh, months and years after this. But you are wrong and you are saying wrong science. So because I proved to you that the stars are close, they are not at a 7000 light years. The, you can barely see Putin when throws bombs on Ukrainians with a telescope. And you, you believe that you will see the stars from, from, and I proved to you, from Scott Kelly picture and from Law of the Light and from Artemis. So the planets remained suspended. They are not made round through gravity. They are making run through pressure, another way. And the stars were coagulating also. And the Bible says, and then they ignite the stars all at once. Because all the stars are put in clouds. And you imagine that the stars are metal alloy, alloys like this. How, how, how fast do you ignite a light? How fast? How fast the light is, is ignited, you see? And then after the splitting of the cloud, the remaining clouds of the board of our galaxy, surrounding our galaxy. And in them there, there exist metal pieces like this, always, and crystalline pieces. And then another, another shockwave of electromechanical energy came across and ignited them at once, like like a thundercloud and ignited them so they are not producing anymore. They, they must be produced through normal physics that we know. And they stay stupid. They say that from hydrogen nobody can produce light only from hydrogen. You understand? You must have a, dif a difference of potential between copper and iron at all incandescent bulbs. This is <clears throat> another way that lead bulbs are made from alloys, two different metals to have a potential difference and when, you, when the energy is uh, passing through in this way. And they are saying false science, how do you produce light through, through fusion of hydrogen? It, it is not known. About a nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars. How do you pull from hydrogen light? You burn light with oxygen, you have a potential difference in seven steps, oxygen being eight and hydrogen. And you, you produce a trigonometrical function because light is, is trigonometrical, like this. You understand what trigonometrical? Light manifests the colors in, in, in uh, 360 degrees. You understand? So. So who, what, from where do you learn science? From, from what she is saying or from me? 
Then we've also got this composite image of what NearCam saw and also the MIRI detector on board JWST. So this is the mid-infrared wavelengths as well. So we're also seeing this ethereal glow of the dust actually emitting these longer wavelengths of infrared light too. And what I love about this image is that you can almost see this haze rising off the top of this dust and gas at the top of the nebula. And it's essentially gas streaming off it as this is all heated up by the UV radiation from these very young stars. So they invented unknowing how the metals are produced and materials from Mendeleev and no metal and gases. And to trick you, they say that it makes fusion that somehow hydrogen it is obtained at the Big Bang and then the stars are producing tricking you to not understand that the star produce light their function is not to produce material their function is to produce light it's like I'm tricking you this light bulb of mine are producing metals copper and iron this, this scope is to produce light because in the Bible says that they, they got God made them to produce light and to trick you to not understand they fought in the Bible They fought in the Bible. They invented false physics fusion of hydrogen This is fusing hydrogen to make copper and iron that it is not known and a nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars You can lie how do you want but you'll be a laughing stuff because is sooner it will be found because the stars are one day with the speed of light. That's why the Bible says that it, it was ignited all of them. You must have them at once all of them and then to ignite them like this. How fast you do you ignite? Even the sun, how fast you ignite the sun? How fast you do you ignite light? So if the light is being the uh, the the bigger speed that we know 300,000 kilometers per second our galaxy being the sphere it came across through the sphere at once like an ignition and the pieces the stars are already were there because they are from crystal stars are from crystals metal the sun is from the me from metal they stay stupid they want to be stupid but NASA filmed many ions of iron this was an official mission from NASA and they from NASA themselves remain stupid. Even they did the mission and they feel that the, the sun, our sun is made from iron. Many ions of iron mainly. Carbon and many ions of iron and some helium. <laughs> so it is a big ball of iron, of ions of iron, our sun. But they stay stupid like Laplace time that they falsify the fight against the Christian Bible. But I'm telling you, the Indians, the Chinese, you you film the sun and you will watch that the sun is emitting on wavelengths of ions of iron. So so you cannot obtain iron uh, ions of iron uh, iron of steel from hydrogen. You cannot to fuse hydrogen. Through what? Through pressure of gravity, that it is not attraction that I explained to you. I've had a nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars. I explained to you, gravity is a, a field, a field, a vectorial field, a, a vector that it is manifesting in a circle, a heating vector, force vector. And this will not produce stars in a thousand, quadrillion, thousand millennium. This is a hitting force, a rotating hitting force, a force field, a rotating hitting force. We will not produce the sun and the, and the, they are falsifying that you are not understanding. They are switching, they are switching your mind. This is producing only light and it is cold and the stars do not have to be like our sun. And if you observe the Carina Nebula, if they were be to going to be flames like like our sun, they will ex, ex they will expel the, the clouds. The flames will expel the, the, the clouds. So they are producing in a cold manner light. 
from that clouds there are two kinds of stars put in clouds there are two kinds of stars put in clouds and in black stuff that black stuff are still clouds but they are not producing light from there originates and it is not void it is not void okay we cannot see the universe i'm telling you good stuff we can go to the stars let's colonize these planets you now understand what important they are so she is saying fusion hydrogen fusion that is not existing to fuse you make oxygen from hydrogen and then you talk to me and a nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars you make from hydrogen oxygen and then you came and talked to me and you show me how you did you did this and then you fuse in the stars stupidity so who is telling science my friends who is telling science who is telling science so in this manner you understand that they are not producing anymore because this rock must coagulate prior to this ignition like in this you have must to have the metal bulbs and then you pass an electric field electromagnetic field you ignite them the electromagnetic field is trigonometrical like it is a rotating field like this trigonometrical field and this field produces in a difference of potential uh, light that it is trigonometrical so infrared or not infrared like words to 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 trick you to trick you it's also why you see these big caves around stars too and then these big pillars of gas and dust as well as it tries to escape from these very hot regions around the stars so images like this help us to better understand how stars form and all of the steps in that process as well especially pinpointing the moment that the stars become visible in visible light that we can see with our own eyes and with the likes of the hubble space telescope you know by the time that they've actually thrown off all the gas and dust around them by heating those surrounding regions and so the stars were produced and we cannot see only our galaxy our galaxy is a sphere void it only inside not quite void because there is an electric energy that circulates our entire galaxy our entire galaxy throughout all the solar system and all the stars are close in one day with the speed of light i put to you from the gray scale from space and i'm asking you if if somebody that it is astrono astronaut of the international space station in the night when the, the sun is blocked by the earth you can see the stars because i know okay and you watch with your eyes do you believe that your eyes that is seeing a man like this from the mountain it says that it starts from the gray scale the uh, scott kelly that put the scott kelly the, this picture film do you believe that from international space station with a naked duck you see stars from the 7000 light years i'm asking you are you this stupid all of you that are six uh, seven uh, 17 missions uh, over 50 missions uh 15 mission left astronauts at the international space station so 200 men and women you will tell me you can see with your neck he died if light diminishes you tell me you can see with your neck he died if light diminishes with distance this the stars from 7000 light years you falsify that this picture is one second two seconds it will diminish three four five seconds with the speed of light you do not understand what means a day with the speed of light 36 billion kilometers this is the distance real distance and we cannot see the universe you can lie universe 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 you can lie and stop this 
to, demonically to understand what it is beyond. Let's reach the stars. We can go to the stars. 90 years with the current technology, but we can reach them. And in this matter, they are tricking you. So are stars forming Carina Nebula? Through what principle? How? 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 If you, we know only gather, atomical gatherings, they are atomical ga gatherings. They, the stars form through atomical gatherings and dust and gases. You need the gas and dust. And they say like in general, gen in, in general, like dust. What dust? What dust? Like we are stardust, start explode. And there's a mess. That's like junk. It's like uh, uh, pollution. Let's start with this spectacular image of the Carina Nebula. Now, the amount of people that have already told me they have this as their phone or their desktop background already is incredible. So this is a huge star forming region in our own galaxy of stars, the Milky Way, and it's about 7,000 light years away. So all stars are formed in these giant gas clouds that are also really dusty as well. So they have these heavier elements, the heavier molecules, bigger molecules, the likes of carbon and nitrogen and other metals as well that are there because other stars have lived and died in that region of space before. So when they've gone supernova and, and thrown off all of their uh, outer layers, they've essentially polluted space from being pristine hydrogen gas and adding in all of this carbon and nitrogen oxygen that's formed in this uh, fusion process inside of stars. This is scientific words. They exploded, they died, they exploded. And they are from gases and dust from from the streets, yes, yes, uh, uh, dust, like what dust, like silicon oxygen, what, silicon oxygen, it is already uh, silicon oxygen, and then you have hydrogen, what do you, what do you have the need to fuse hydrogen in silicon oxygen, you already have them in dust. So they say that the big star exploded through the force of pressure of gravity. Gravity does not pressure. It is a perpendicular force of impact. And pressuring, uh, pressuring and constraining and getting gases and like stupid physics, stupid, crazy physics invented by Laplace. Did he not you understood Newton? What Newton says, it is a rotating field a force of rotating field of impact. There is a vector that goes like this in 360 degrees mathematically. And you vary the force, you vary the speed of the vectorial field and you obtain for every circle that you can, you can give with any radius that you can give. You see, when a body makes a full circle has, if it is spinning, has a centripet and centrifuge force, two, if it sees spinning and another two when it goes around. There so are four vector, four vectors, circular vectors, combining the vectors, you obtain 9.8 meter per second square. And this is pushing, you understand, you. And this is attracting, and this is, this is because there is a opposite and op, uh, to any force has an opposite equal force. So if the earth moves through, through here it pushes you, and you push on the earth with the 9.8 meter per second. And each planet has its, its own G, gravity. So how this produce young stars? They have wrinkles. So it is funny that they are stupid, it is funny that they are stupid, but it is funny that they like the entire planet. Can you get hydrogen? Can you make life from hydrogen? You go in the empty space and produce life from hydrogen only, with nothing else, with nothing else. So if you have another atoms, why do you fuse them to produce the stars? And I'm telling you, our sun is spinning. Our sun it is spinning. It was filmed. It is spinning. So if the stars are spinning, you were spinning your coffee at one, once. Why the clouds are not spinning? Look, imagine that this is a star. 
watch many stars in that cloud, okay? Why they are not making swarms in that cloud? Because they do not have spin. And if you do not have spin and acceleration, you do not have gravity. You understand? Well, look, this, you are this stupid. Okay, you are be, uh, deserve to to be light to 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 be light. So this is my video about Karina. The stars are not forming anymore. Not through magical means. Hydrogen that popped up from some big bang. Thirteen point seven billion. They like to say like billion three. The cars are gone. It's like they are. They, they believe that this is a some force, like Karsagan, it was like this. 13.7 big, even though it was 18 billion, 19 billion years, 21 billion years after some moment, 17 billion, now they reach the 3, 13.7 uh, billion. They are not 13.7 billion, we cannot, we do not know how matter is produced. We do not know at this hour, but the Bible says that it was the uh, cloud of gas, hydrogen and oxygen, water, in a vapor like water. And this cloud was split into, the Bible says, the sp it split the cloud of water and in that ignited the stars and the stars are not producing anymore. Let's see what it is beyond this sphere. Let's see. Let's colonize the planet. If you are saying that this is 7,000 light years, you make irrelevant this. You make that this is not important. You will, you will, you will, if you say that it is 7,000 light years, you will make unimportant these planets. And the planets are important. We can colonize them. If the planets if, if the stars are close and we only know this galaxy, it is imperative, necessary for us to go to the planet and to make some bridges that to go to the stars someday, because they are far. They are 90 years with our current technology or the board of our galaxy. This is how big it is, 26 billion kilometers, but not trillion. And what you see in Carina, that could be stars like this. You imagine a piece of a metal alloys like, like, like a mountain big, submerged in, in a cloud and through the cloud passing an electromagnetic energy, igniting a mountain to produce light. Do you imagine how much light if you, if you saw that tungsten, that tungsten of the uh, uh, bulbs? that it is a, a small wire and, uh, and, and produces not much, much light. Do you imagine a mountain of tungsten? Do you imagine a big mountain of, of tungsten submerging a cloud like that? Like a mount, big mountain a tungsten submerging a cloud and through the mountain passing electromagnetic field. Do you imagine how much light it will produce? So why do you falsify that the light is produced through, through atomic fission if, if we do not know how this is good to produce light, physical? And I'm telling you how we know to produce light. We, we, we go, we, we produce light like from neon gas and, and from gases that we... So we produce light like this not through fusion. So this is everything I want to tell you in this video. I broke uh, one of her video in five pa or four or five pieces. And even though I analyze this in great uh, lengths, that you understand the entire cosmology and the from where is from where is uh, originating and what are the false uh, things. And you will understand that I am presenting you the correct, the correct physics. And one day they will see and they will be convinced and, and you will be laughed off. 
sooner you admit and you came and you you admit that you have no science and you lied just through beliefs that you accuse the religion of beliefs and but you lie through beliefs and you are believing that the stars are forming you are believing that that is this, this distance you are believing but you do have no you do not have any science sooner you understand that the stars are close the sooner you will understand that the importance of this planet and the importance indeed that you find out what it is beyond because we do not know the universe and if you are believing that you can put in a meter in a mirror uh, 13 billion years you are stupid so if you are astronaut and go to international space station and look through your window when the sun is in the back of the earth and you see the stars and you are believing that the stars are at you can see with your naked eye if you say um, uh, you do not see man on earth walking from the international space station but you are seeing stars that they are 7000 light years you are stupid and you continue to be stupid like the old guys but soon the sooner this will be found and and you are be a laughing stock so the stars are not forming are not young stars all of them were produced maybe they were they are dying they are uh, but but through not not through explosion and if you see this is changing light if you have an ignition of light it is not a supernova you understand so this is their proof sci- scientific proof only words and and they believe that we are not you are we are stupid we do not know what we do not know what the uh, infrared light is we you, you produce it with a bulb light infrared goodbye god bless the planets are close let's colonize them this is my message and stop be, being lied by this kind of 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 unscientific man okay goodbye god bless This is the se- a second video on Car- Carina Nebula. I will make another one. Wha- on on one of her videos, I break up the her videos in five pieces, and I I created a list that I'll take on internet, guys, that presents false astronomy, false astrophysics, and false science to stop us to find this, and they take one from another. They maybe watch one another, but they they say f- f- false science. Okay, goodbye. God bless. Like, share, and subscribe if you are liking what I'm doing. I'm saying like a T science. This is the way I make my videos. I'm not filming myself straight. I'm saying like a T science. I have here apple and soluble tea. Goodbye.